so bored of crashing my stupid head through the same thing every day. What's the use? You're a crash dummy. That's what you're supposed to do. It's what we're all supposed to do. Not me. I meant to do more. I just know it. So why are you still here then, Big Shot? I... I... could leave if I wanted to. Sure! Whee-hee-hee! <laughs> here we go again. That's it. He's the one. Every day I hear him complaining. Well, now we'll see what he's made of. Quick, bring him in. We don't have much time. Yes, number 12, I know, but I have no other option. Hey, what's happening? I've never done this crash test before. Wait, what are you doing to me? Stop, I didn't mean to complain. I'll do my job properly. I'm sorry, please. Ready, three, two, one. Setup complete. Whoa! What was that? I feel funny. Different somehow. You are different, Sid. That's why I chose you. Choose me? What for? I often hear you talking to the other dummies about wanting more from life. This is your chance to earn it. Oh, well, what do I have to do? It's too late to change your mind, Sid. I have fitted you with the latest ESS system. ESS system? I don't understand. We don't have time. I'll explain later. Right now, you are the only hope I have of finding my daughter. Your daughter? Yes, she has gone missing. Somewhere near the warehouse, I believe. Great. So all this is just to go back to the boring old warehouse. So much for something different. Okay, that was quite a fall. I hope you didn't break the ESS chip. Professor, where am I? You've landed on top of the industrial park's chimney. Use the lift to move between the levels and find your way out. Seems to be out of order. Indeed, to make it work, you have to reactivate its power generator. It should be somewhere around here on this level. Once you have found it, press the action button to activate it. Piece of cake. Then stand on the lift to make it work. I left 
two orbs there. Collect them to move down to the next floor. Orbs? What are they for? If you collect ten orbs, you can activate panic mode by holding down the super button. Panic mode creates a powerful electromagnetic wave which destroys any nearby electronic device. Panic? I don't like the sound of that, but I'll get them. There's another orb for you on this floor. Did you really have to leave it way up there? I'm only little. Just use the jump button when you're close to a ledge to grab on. Then move along it using the move stick. system is working properly. Fight? I've never had a fight before. Don't worry, we'll start you off slowly. There are two surveillance robots guarding this level. Use the attack button to defeat them. The exit gate switch is disabled. To activate it, step on the button on the floor up there. Is there a ladder? Of course. Ladders are an easy and safe way to get to the higher platforms. Use the move stick to climb up and down the ladder. Well done, Sid. 
I see that you got out of the chimney without any trouble. Your basic ESS functions all seem to be working after your fall. I can do anything. Almost. Now let's check your stealth mode. Hold the stealth button to walk silently through the red line. I'll try, Professor. awaits. You can also hide by sliding along the walls. Move towards the wall following the red holographic line and press the stealth button. Use move stick to slide left and right. Are all these upgrades really necessary, Professor? Of course they are. Your stealth functions could prove very useful. Start wall sliding here. Well done, Sid. Next section awaits. Your stealth mode is fully operational. That's a relief. You sound worried. It's making me nervous. Of course not. You are the very best of my models. It's time to go through your acrobatic functions. Jump on the spring to reach the higher platforms. That looks fun. It is. Be careful though. I didn't get a chance to finish the shock absorber system yet. If you fall from too high up, you might break. Did you see that? Yes! a secret area. Sid, do you have your bazooka with you? I never leave home without it. To activate and deactivate your bazooka, press the equip button. I don't have any ammo. Ammo? Oh, yes. Silly me. Collect the rubber bullet bonuses to pick up ammo. Use the attack button to lock on to the target. Well, such a dummy now, am I? Next section awaits. Well, there are still some functions we need to check. Use your super run mode to run up to the red holographic line. To activate it, hold the action button while you are running. Great! Don't use it too much though. Using super run decreases your stamina and you can't use it if your stamina gauge is empty. So, I'll have to rest for a while. That's right. Start fast run from here. Try running faster. Hey, watch out! Start fast run from here.
Professor, what's this spring for? You can bounce against the horizontal springs using Super Run. You will be going fast enough to perform your smash move. Acrobatic stunt mode to check. To press that wall button, you will need to wall jump. How do I do that? Face the button, then press jump to spring onto the wall. Amazing! Gate, you need to use the wall button down there. You've already shown me how to open gates. Are you getting forgetful in your old age? Yes, but this gate is different. A security timer closes it. When you press the button, the timer will start. Good job I can super run. You are paying attention. Professor Workin, my old friend, what have you done to me? We built the ESS system together, but you've been using it for your own selfish gains ever since. Wasting it on that stupid project while I sit here suffering alone? No more. Today, I take back what is rightfully mine. Mr. Madness, round up some dummies. Crusher Robot will fly you to the starting point for this mission. There can be no room for errors. Mission K must be a success, or else... Whatever you say, Detroit, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 